Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for being here and welcome back. Just a quick reminder, you do still have a couple of days to get in on my big summer giveaway. I am giving away an entire summer welcome box from Causebox, as well as seven different mystery mailers. So make sure that you watch that video and get entered. I will leave the link for that above as well as below. But today I have my Appalachian Mercantile box to share with you. Appalachian Mercantile is curated by JQ Dickinson, purveyor of fine goods from Appalachia, obviously. Um, they do a lot of edible items. Usually there's like one non-edible, more like lifestyle product in here, but that is the reason that I do their seasonal option. They have a monthly subscription where it is $40 per month plus shipping. I do the seasonal, which is just a little bit more, $42 plus shipping because there are so many edible items I want to make sure that I have an opportunity to go through and use them in a timely manner. Now the shipping all the way to me in California is $11 which is a little bit pricey. It makes sense though because a lot of times the items are kind of weighty but it just does depend on where you are located so if you live a little bit closer to their headquarters then your shipping could be significantly less. Now I have reached out to them to ask for a coupon code but I haven't heard back quite yet but they have been really cooperative with me in the past so hopefully I'll be able to update the description box below and you might be able to check this subscription out yourself. Now this is the seasonal subscription but it is the same as their August box so even if you did the seasonal subscription in September or October you would probably be getting this box but if you subscribed as a monthly member then obviously we'd be getting that month's box right so if you subscribe in September as a monthly subscriber you're probably going to get the September box. All right, you guys, let's open it up and see what we've got. Oh, so this is a little different. I don't usually have like a little invoice, but there is a little invoice in here. So there's that. And then they always have a nice uh, product card and they always include recipes because this is kind of a culinary uh, box. So if you enjoy experimenting, trying different ingredients in your kitchen, this is a great box for you. So it looks like our recipe this time is for Ronnie Lundy's buttermilk biscuits. So this sounds like a uh, kind of a early fall recipe more so than the middle of summer, but you never know. It does sound pretty good. It says Ronnie Lundy is the expert of Appalachian cooking. This recipe comes from her book Victuals and she credits Chef Louis Osteen, Osteen for it. So pretty cool. I don't make a lot of biscuits. Let me know if you guys make a lot of biscuits, but I do enjoy eating them. So maybe I'll have to try. And then it's just got this nice little image here and then we've got all of our products here on the back. They don't include the retail values but you can buy all of these items usually directly from their website so it'd be easy enough to look up the retail values. You're definitely always getting your money's worth here as they bundle them into this subscription box. And this time it looks like we got one, two, three, six items and I'm pretty excited about it. They look pretty good. So some very sleek black tissue paper. I just kind of love the the like look, the presentation of this box. Always very like rustic. And then we've just got, <laughs> they always do pack things super well because a lot of the times, like I said, there's kind of heavier items. This isn't like their heaviest box that I've gotten from them. And a lot of the times the products come in glass jars, but just full of, of foozles. It just kind of looks like sawdust. Again, goes with their sort of branding. So let me just move this off as carefully as I can without totally turning my floor into that of a stable. So the first thing I am seeing is some tea. Uh, you guys know that I get a lot of tea in different subscriptions. I have an abundance of tea. I have an entire cabinet full of tea. Sometimes I hold on to it. Sometimes I pass it on. That's the great thing about tea. But we are finally moving into that fall season where now I will be able to enjoy tea a little bit more. I thought that I would make more iced tea, but I, I didn't. I just, I just didn't take the time to do it. Ooh, but this is mint and I do like a good mint tea. So it says mountain mint, 100% homegrown. And it just says the beautiful native mountain mint. And we've got 12 bags. So I love uh, bagged tea when I don't have to get super fancy and use uh, an infuser. So here we go. And it kind of came in a cute little box with a little orange tissue paper sticking out the sides. Let me see if I can get this open. I've got my scissors like way off to the side where they don't need to be. Uh, let's see what it says about this. 
Fairweather Farm, this one woman farm in Nelson County, Virginia, is dedicated to natural teas. Mountain Mint is wonderful iced with a touch of honey. That does sound pretty good. A refreshing beverage on a hot summer day. So I still have time, I guess, to try to make some summer mint tea. So this is cute. It just came in the tissue and here are the individual little bags. It doesn't have like a little string or anything, but I just think that is sweet and it smells lovely, just a little hint of mint, not too overpowering. Very happy to have that nice item that I'll probably actually hold on to this one just because I do like mint tea, like I said. Now, the next thing here is an example of one of those heavy glass jars. Let me just wipe some of the dust off of it. We got some peach butter, which sounds amazing. And this is made in Ohio and it comes in this nice hexagonal glass jar. And this is a good size jar for sure. It's by Simple Products. Let's see how many ounces it is, 10 ounces. So that's like a pretty good size. It says peach butter is the essence of summer made from Ohio grown fruit. This is the perfect accompaniment to our enclosed recipe for biscuits. Yes, that sounds so, so good. It is also delicious over cream cheese with a sprinkle of heirloom pepper salt as an hors d'oeuvre. All right, that sounds awesome. That does sound delicious. Uh, peach butter with some cream cheese and a little heirloom pepper salt. Yeah, sign me up. I'm pretty excited about that. I love peach. I love uh, the flavor, the smell of peach. We didn't get very good peaches in Hawaii when I was growing up and it's only like recently that I've realized how amazing they can truly be. Now let's see what we've got in this little tin. So this is that heirloom pepper salt. So I do love how Appalachian Mercantile really does curate everything and it gives you several of the sort of like fancy ingredients for the different recipes that they share with you. So it comes in this little tin, heirloom pepper, vinegar, says fish peppers and aji dolce and carmen so here it is it's just in this little tin like this nice and short it almost looks like a lip balm and it says this is from lindera farms daniel liberson uses jq dickinson salt and infuses it with the flavors of a combination of several peppers. It is savory, peppery, and has a touch of heat. Use it to season meats and vegetables. Now we have gotten a bunch of different seasonings and different subscriptions. Ooh, it's like a really like thick salt, you guys. You can kind of see, I don't wanna pour it out. It's filled to the brim. I will definitely take a picture for it for you over on Instagram and share it with you, but this sounds awesome. We've been doing like a lot of grilling this summer, and this seems like something that would be great. I love savory, I love peppery, I love a touch of heat, so super excited to see this, and this is one of the things that my husband's always excited when I get different seasoning salts and stuff in different subscriptions, so good one. All right, so it looks like for our sort of non-edible item, we got a beautiful greeting card. I will say this is gorgeous. I'll take it out of the plastic so that you guys can see. This is by Live Love Studio. It says, Kate Moore, who lives in East Tennessee, feeds one hungry person in the region with each card she sells. Oh, I love any box that has items with a cause. The message on this card is uplifting and lighthearted just when we all need it. And it's got some like texture to it. It's almost like a linen texture on on the actual paper and it just says buy one feed one and again you guys this is live love studio if you want to look it up and I just think that's gorgeous it looks almost like a quilt in the background and it says and if the music is good you dance so you don't have to be out at the club you don't have to necessarily be in a crowd or at a concert I do miss concerts that's one of the things that I definitely miss about this summer with social distancing um, it's got a little bit of like a sheen to it it's really pretty I think you could almost even frame this it looks like a got like a little bit of like um tarnish on mine but i bet with a like soft gum eraser i can get rid of that but it is a really beautiful image it's a beautiful sentiment you know that like greeting cards can be pretty expensive pretty pricey so um this is definitely like a few dollars worth and i appreciate it so that's very nice um i have a soap dish from my appalachian mercantile box that i love it's like perfect i don't actually use it for soap because i don't have much counter space in my bathroom but we've started using it to set uh, shower steamers on and it's perfect it's gorgeous it's like rustic i love it it's super cool all right, so this definitely has a bunch of dust on the rubber dropper, but ooh, chamomile bitters. So I've definitely been getting a lot of like oat uh, cocktail uh, recipes and ingredients. I've gotten some like lavender bitters and different liqueurs in different boxes. So this is pretty cool. So it's just a little tiny dropper 
mixology is definitely a thing. I think a lot of people have kind of become uh, home bartenders with uh, quarantine. So this is pretty neat. You'd definitely be super fancy. You might need like a, you know, twisty mustache and get your get your cocktail making on. So let's see what it says about this. This is by Blackwater Bitters. Bitters are highly concentrated cocktail flavorings, usually a mixture of fruits, herbs, and spices. This is the seasonal offering from Blackwater located in Lynchburg, Virginia. Add it to a gin and tonic or bourbon. So I'm not a gin girl. I do sometimes like a whiskey or a bourbon, so maybe, um, but I love the idea of like a chamomile, which can be so like calming and soothing and earthy, maybe kind of tempering some of the bite of a stronger cocktail. Maybe it would work in a vodka soda. I, I mean, I'm willing to give it a try. I'm willing to uh, experiment with it. So beautiful. I love that it's kind of got that like apothecary look to it too. And a nice little dropper bottles, a useful thing to hold on to even when you've d you've gone through the whole thing. Although you'd have to make quite a few cocktails to, to get through that. So next we've got well, this is not something I hope I ever need, but it is a Poison Ivy Salve uh, by Brookstone Soaps, and it just comes in this little container here. So I'll just show you that. It says, Jewel Weed is a natural healing plant for poison ivy. At the height of summer, it's hard to avoid this pesky plant. This product made with local West Virginia Jewel Weed will come to the rescue. So I'll have to read up and see if Jewel Weed is effective on other like sort of rashes or if it's just specifically for poison ivy because um, my husband does have kind of sensitive skin and sometimes he gets like all these like itchy bumbies and maybe something like this would actually be nice instead of, you know, like, calamine lotion maybe he can use this salve but i don't come into contact with poison ivy that often thank goodness knock on wood and then i think that is all of the items that we got so let's we'll just do a quick recap we got the interesting chamomile bitters which again i have to get my like cocktail hat out I've gotten a lot of a co cocktail accoutrement lately in different subscription boxes we got the poison ivy salve which hopefully works for other things and hopefully i don't need it for poison ivy we got the mountain mint tea which smells lovely and i'm sure will taste lovely even as an iced tea we got the heirloom pepper salt which is probably what i might be most excited about in conjunction with the simple products peach butter which looks delicious and the recipes they're suggesting using it with sound delicious and then we also got the beautiful live love studio greeting cards so another great box from Appalachian Mercantile I am excited to try all of the items except for like I said the poison ivy salve I hope I don't have to use that at all definitely excited about maybe maybe I'll try some biscuits and if I do you guys I will definitely share that with you over on Instagram I usually do whenever I try to be a little bit more adventurous in the kitchen which is kind of rare um, if you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and hopefully I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing